guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is kylie and today i have something super fun i'm gonna be answering your guys's questions a couple days ago i had put on my story a ask me questions i'm super excited to see what you guys have asked so someone asked me what i miss about living in the city and if you know me i grew up in cambridge which is the city it's right next to boston and then i moved to framingham about six months ago I think like the biggest thing that I miss is being able to travel without a car. I don't really live in like the suburb suburbs, but it's not as like um, trains, buses, like you know what I mean? So I think the main thing I kind of miss is being able to like travel without a vehicle. Like I have to drive everywhere here and like in Cambridge, I could just hop on the train and take the train to Harvard or like Alewife. So I think that's the main thing that I miss. And my whole family still lives there like i i mean i live with my parents and my brother but like my sister's there like my friends are there my cousins like you know what i mean like now i have a 35 minute drive away from them so it's kind of weird but we are in a house now instead of a condo so i guess we have more space we have a backyard in cambridge you don't get a backyard we have a backyard we have a driveway so there's pros and cons too i guess like we have more space here in cambridge i was just kind of like in a condo you park on the street you don't have a front yard you don't have a backyard so i guess i'm not really missing out on anything because i did have that life for 18 years i'm 19 and now i'm here so it's not even i don't feel like i'm like missing out on anything but i just kind of miss my old life if you understand that yeah i think i would just i just miss it being more convenient so instead what are your current plans and plans for the future so right now i go to mass bay community college and i am majoring in criminal justice and i'm on my second year so i'm going to be getting my associates soon but right now my plan is just to finish school and i definitely want to go to a different school after community college after i get my associates my plan is to eventually live in california after this year after i get my associates my favorite thing to do in my free time sleep if you know me i can sleep all day like i can catch up on sleep what is that but yeah sleep is my favorite thing to do i can sleep all day like no matter where i'm at i sleep someone said can we just get a little life update so like i said i'm at mass bay i moved six months ago i started social media i have 12k on tiktok it's nothing too big i mean i go to school i live in a different city now or town i don't really have like a major life update but i'm in school if i still modeled i'm still signed to an agency i'm signed to dynasty modeling but i don't know if that's like one of my dreams anymore growing up modeling was like one of my things where i was like i definitely want to model like i want to do this i want to do that i don't know if it's because my agency is just so slow with a lot of things I'm still signed, so I guess I still model, but I have not modeled in so long since before quarantine, of course. That's so yes and no. So instead, top three products for my curly hair. If you didn't watch it already, I posted a curly hair routine and I put in all my products and everything. But my go-to products are the Miss Jessie's um, Jelly Jelly Gel, whatever it's called, and then I have my Comeback Curl by Cantu another question what is my favorite piece of clothing right now would be my leather pants if you follow me on instagram you know that i've been posting my leather pants like every other day my sister got them for me for christmas and those are my go-to what is your favorite place you've traveled to favorite place would be barcelona the only thing though i wish i went in a little bit of a smaller group like i went on like a big family trip to barcelona so i feel like i didn't get to enjoy it as much because it was like yeah schedule like we was with like kids like seven year olds and then grown up so it wasn't like i really got to enjoy it as much as i should have my current favorite song so my favorite song at the moment is either driver's license if you're on tiktok this song is a tiktok song but it's about how she had this boyfriend her boyfriend made a promise to her about everything and now he has a whole new girlfriend not that i relate to it but i love this song um another song that i'm obsessed with right now is good days by sizza sizza amazing reason for starting youtube so i've always wanted to start youtube like if you knew me like in middle school i used to like try to film videos i don't know i always wanted to do something with social media and just never like 
had the balls to do it like oh people are gonna make fun of me 2020 sucked but quarantine definitely made me learn more about myself and what i want to do like i would not have started tiktok if it wasn't for quarantine i would not have started youtube or anything like that so i definitely think 2020 for pushing me to learn more about myself i always wanted to start youtube so i feel like it just kind of pushed me to start something that i've never could do someone said my favorite jewelry pieces at the moment so gold jewelry is super in my pieces that i'm wearing i have this 2001 because that's the year i was born i got this on amazon actually and then they get so tangled my boyfriend's mom got this for me i'm not sure where she got this from but it was a christmas gift and then this is from my cousin's line divine individual and i think that this is the last one this is from vibe season use my code kylie50 for 50 percent off and it's just so cute i love layers and then i have this gold ring it looks like a croissant ring i don't know why it's not focusing but that's from amazon and then this fake love ring it's not focused but it's a love ring cartier fake from amazon and then this is it has a k on it but it's not focused um it is from vibe season and you can use my code i don't know why it's not focused though and i got this gold ring again it has a little diamond in it and it's from my cousin's line too, divine individual and then i have this louis vuitton that i got over the summer and then i have this little tennis bracelet i don't know how to pronounce the brand um someone said do you believe in aliens i do but i don't know like if i like fully believe it like i believe it to a certain extent i definitely believe that there is life on other planets like they found water on i forgot what planet they found water and water is a sign of life so i believe that there's something alive but not like aliens um what are your thoughts on life after death so if you know me personally death is so scary to me like i can like have a full-on panic attack an anxiety attack about death like death is so scary like you're gone forever like you die and you're just never coming back but where do you see yourself four to five years from now i definitely see myself in california i don't know what i would be doing but something that makes me happy whether it's social media whether it's like marketing criminal justice someone said what are you majoring in college i'm said i'm majoring in criminal justice i don't know what i want to do along the lines in the field or anything but i do know that i'm very fascinated by the law and i would like to help make a change in how the law is how do you calm yourself down when you're stressed so like i said before death is super scary like i'll find myself just like frozen in my bed about death and the only way that i can calm myself down is literally like turning off my phone and counting my breaths like i literally sit there in like dead silence and i'm just like like just focus on your breathing that is my way of how i calm myself down i'm not sure if that will work for everybody but that is how i calm myself down how would you describe your style so i don't know i feel like sometimes i can be like streetwear sometimes i can be like girly girl so i feel like i'm very like in between it depends on my mood but my go-to like outfit would be like sweatpants and my ugg so whatever you want to call that <laughs> that would be that what do you love most about yourself i don't know if you mean by like physical appearance or like within physical appearance i like my nose <laughs> um and then within and i'm a very like caring person like i tend to put a lot of people ahead of me or like in front of me where i kind of put myself second and i feel like that is one thing that i that can be a blessing and also a curse um someone said how's college going and any tips so be organized it's very easy to get distracted on your bed on your computer so i think that like i get distracted easily like i think i might have a little touch of adhd add um so i think that me doing classes only a couple of days out of the week getting that out and then a other couple of the days that i'm not in school to do some of my schoolwork that would be my one tip like just to manage your time like it's okay like you don't have to do work 12 hours a day but definitely like make a schedule do something productive 
try to stay on task what is something that i'm struggling with at the moment schoolwork is very like I struggle with it sometimes and I feel like college students, high school students, like kids, like elementary kids, middle school, we don't get enough credit for what we're doing. Like we are full-time students in the middle of a pandemic on computers 24 seven. And I feel like I struggle with that. Um, my favorite article of clothing, I said that I like my leather pants. Favorite places to eat at, Chick-fil-A all the way. Chick-fil-A is my go-to spot. What? I have so many points on my Chick-fil-A app. Um, do you like living in Massachusetts? I do, but I think I'm ready to blossom somewhere else. Like, I definitely like it. I'm not a big fan of the snow, but I would not have wanted to, like, grow up anywhere else. Besides, like, California, of course, but I do. I like Massachusetts, but I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be somewhere with palm trees. <laughs> what is my favorite hairstyle? So if you follow my Instagram, I've been doing this like bun that's super in where it's just like you're parted and you just have like the bun right here. That's definitely one of my favorite hairstyles, but also my hair being out is one of my favorite hairstyles. My favorite artist. If we're going to do like R&B, like soulful music, John Legend all the way. I've been a big fan of John Legend since I can remember. Um, and then, like, if we're gonna do, like, music, like, nowadays, A Boogie. I like A Boogie, but then I also like some R&B music, like Janae, SZA. I've also been super into, like, Brent Fias, like, music like that. So, yeah. Um, do you see yourself being fully committed to YouTube? I do. I really, really do. I like taking videos and I like editing. I like posting. I like you guys like seeing like my life and stuff like that. Like I'm not like too shy of my life where I'm not gonna like hide things, I guess. So yeah, I like I like having a life that you guys can like see what I do. Like I'm not like secretive with things if that makes sense. So like I do. I can see myself doing something. I actually say like my favorite shoes, my go-to shoes, my Uggs, my slip-on Uggs, and then like sneakers, it would probably be one of my ones. I have so many ones, so I don't know if I could pick, but right now I'm loving my Bloodline ones, so they're like red, black, and white. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun filming this, so you guys got to know me a little bit more, and if you guys want to see more of like a more juicier q a i would be down to film it um yeah i mean like comment and subscribe i have a new video coming for you guys in next week but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed